How's it going guys? I hope you're doing well and this video something occurred to me that made me want to do this is about monster auctioning. I never uh, I never really messed with it much. Never really heard anything about it on the comments of any of my videos. I've never really read much about it on numerous threads and forums about this game. I frequent a lot of places where people post and talk about the game and I've been delving into monster auctioning lately and I've realized it's really powerful and really useful. Now, the game, I couldn't even find a tutorial in the game, but I swore the game mentioned it and it pretty much just said you get money. But here we are at any kind of shop and you go to the auction, for those of you that do not know how it works, and you get to auction one of your many monsters. Now, you do get money, but what else do you get? Well, here we go, let's do it. We're gonna get rid of my dragon boy. He's gone, he's done. I, it costs a hundred to sell him and then he's pretty sad. He's pretty sad. He's sad boy Well look at that we got some good money though, but I mean we all know you don't need money in this game because of all the exploits All right, so you just got money and that was it that, that's like there you go the game didn't mention anything else It didn't say anything. So how do I know? How do I know I got anything else? You don't Unless you do this, you go to the shop, you go into the sundries tab, you go to all. We're starting from the bottom. We're going up. Let's notice some new stuff that's appeared in the shop. Here we go. We're almost there. Any day. What's that? Ice worms, Mark. Oh, cool. We can, we can turn any dragon into an ice dragon now? That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Okay. I guess. Okay, we got that for selling the dragon. Well, better than nothing, right? What else do we get? Oh, a black ice orb. A consumable. That's worth 18,000. A mysterious energy emanates from this orb of ice. Hmm. This is congeliato. We don't know what that does. I've never used this. Seems like a very strong, uh, a very strong item that uh, has a huge range and a pretty big area of effect. That was from the dragon, though. Anything else? Do we got any other goodies? Dragon steak, invigorate. What's this? Oh, ooh! Look at that, guys. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, that's pretty expensive stuff. Let's try it again. Let's see what happens again. Goodbye, Mr. Cockatrice. I knew you well. Wait. Wait, you don't want my cockatrice? Oh. <laughs> I grieve on the inside. <laughs> uh, the star shines upon you. I'm just selling my monsters. Am I am I bad? Am I horrible? What do we got now? What what has the cockatrice given us? I'm really curious. Hmm. I don't remember seeing these gemstones right here. Did I zoom past those before? I don't know. I don't remember seeing gemstones there, but hey. I mean it's pos they probably were there. I'm just delusional. So there's the ice worms mark. That's still there, of course. Ooh, we got a gloom orb. This is very similar to this, but it's dark. Oh, did that have to do, was the cockatrice dark? I don't even know what my cockatrice was. I'm pretty sure you, okay, so you'll get, you'll get an orb based on the type of the dude. That's pretty cool, okay. But did I get anything really cool though? Because like, we got a minced patty. Okay, invigorate, so the same thing. Same price, just a different item, looks different, it's the same thing. So you get a food item and an orb and possibly a mark for a monster food item or possibly a mark if the monster changes so like for golems and stuff and the birds agree right yeah they're uh they're very they're very ecstatic all right let's get rid of those crappy octopuses nobody likes right all right here we go one more try and go to the sundries see what's in here you get an orb of the element of the unit and then you get food and possibly a class mark if 
the monster has multiple classes. It's pretty interesting. Yep, still got the Ice Worm mark because he's one of... There we go, Cataract War because he was water. Okay. Cock to They have... Look, they, yeah, they have different effects. Okay, cool. See, guys, look at that. Now, see, now I don't... Yep, food for everybody. And there you go. So, basically, the whole purpose of this video... Now, I know. I know there's going to be you veterans out there that are going to be like, Man... I've been doing auction forever, man. That's all I do. Like, what do you how, what do you mean people don't know? Well, believe it or not, there are new players that do not know this. There are people like me that thought it was pointless that played the game for a majority of the time up until recently that I realized about it and I was kind of using it. And then I was thinking, I don't think anybody knows about this or like realizes what it truly does because the game, like everything in this game, which I think is kind of cool, you don't know. Nothing tells you what it does. Nothing tells you fully what it does. You just saw me sell the dragon and all those monsters. I, I just got money. And I would have been like, all right, well, that's it. Back to the game, you know? And that's why I find a lot of this game so intriguing and so fun. And everybody has, like, their theories on how things work or they think they know. And, you know, they might know. But at the end of the day, there's still a lot of things people don't know. You know, there's still a lot of stuff. There's nothing in the game that specifically says this is how this is scaled. This is how this is calculated. You know, we all go, well, this happened to me and I tested it. Oh, yeah, this, yep, I tested it too and I got similar results. And that's what's so cool and also kind of bad in a way, but... I'm going to stop rambling, though, but that is how the monster auction works. So you get a food item, you get an elemental orb based on the element of the monster, and you will get a class mark if that monster is able to have multiple classes, such as golems and dragons. There might be a couple other ones in there as well, probably for like uh, like lizards, lizard men, and you know other other creatures that are not humanoid. Well, I don't know. Can you sell humanoids on the mon? Yeah, you can sell humanoids. No, you wait. You know what? I'll let you guys answer that because I never tried to sell humanoids. I don't think you can. I think you can only sell actually monsters or beasts, but you know what? You guys will tell me. You guys will set me straight. You know, that's, that's how it is. That's what this is about. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Look forward to more content. I will be covering other uh, upcoming games as well, like Fire Emblem, the new Fire Emblem game. I don't know how many of you guys are Fire Emblem fans, but Fire Emblem was one of the first genres outside of Final Fantasy Tactics that really got me into strategy RPGs. I remember playing them on the Game Boy Game Boy Advance, GameCube. I mean, I, I I pretty much played like the first Fire Emblem. No, that was in Japan. I don't know. You know, the first ones that come over to the States. I played so many and there's so many Fire Emblems. But anyway, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Let me know down below what you guys think about the auction monster system. Do you use it? Do you not use it? Is it worthless? I don't know. I think it's kind of cool, but I find it kind of not necessary. So I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, later guys. Peace.